I just uh, recently uploaded a video showing how to do this particular problem using the PhotoMath app for your smartphone. However, I'm thinking that most students are not allowed to use a smartphone in class or during a test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate how to solve this problem using a tool that you probably are allowed to use during class or on a test. So let's look at how to solve this problem using either the Casio FX115 ES Plus or the Casio FX991 EX ClassWiz. Uh, it is possible to solve a quadratic on either one of these calculators. First we'll take a look at the Casio. Uh, to solve a quadratic, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Mode button. mode and number five is equation and option three is quadratic and if you notice that's going to prompt me for the coefficients a b and c now from the original problem we know that the value of a is one so let's push one and then equals the coefficient of x is negative eight make sure we use the negative button and 8 equals and the constant is 41 equals and then if I hit equals one more time it's going to give me the solution and I want you to notice that it does give me complex solutions so it says x1 is 4 plus 5i if I hit equals again it's going to give me x2 which is 4 minus 5i so that's the uh, complex pair of solutions. Um, the fact that the solutions are complex indicates that the graph of the quadratic will have no x-intercepts. The solutions are imaginary. And I would like to point out one other cool thing. If I hit equal again, it's going to tell me the x value minimum is 4. What does that mean? That is the x-coordinate of the vertex. If I hit equals again, it's going to give me the y coordinate of the vertex. So this calculator not only gives me the solutions, but it also gives me the vertex of the parabola. Now let's look at how to do this with the class whiz. We're going to hit the menu button. We're going to scroll down and we're going to select the equation function option. So we're going to hit equals to select that. We're going to select polynomial, which is option two, and our degree is two. Quadratic is a degree of two. And if you look at the way that looks on the screen, can you see that? It gives me the quadratic in standard form, reminded me where to get A, B, and C from, and then all I have to do is input the coefficients. So the coefficient again for uh, x squared was 1, so let's push 1 equals. Uh, the coefficient of x was negative 8, so again we're going to hit the negative button and then 8 equals. Whoops, what did I do? Coefficient of x is negative 8 equals and the constant was 41 equals and if I hit equals again that's going to give me again x1 x2 x coordinate of the vertex and the y coordinate of the vertex so both of these calculators are good options. They both do exactly the same thing. And uh, I hope this video was helpful.